Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with the August Hop for Tribal Art for the Facebook group of Art Joyous Sharing. I picked a random picture off of Pinterest that I really liked and did a double spread in my Black Dilutions Travel Journal. Um, the artist's name is John Jean Baptiste. I think it's Aputimi. She, uh, let me read her bio. It says that John Baptiste Aputimi was a significant, I think it's Tiwi or Taiwi island artist whose work is held in most major and several min minor Australian galleries and British museums. Her works are exhibited from 1991 in group shows from 1997 until her death. She worked full time with the Twinney um, Design Aboriginal Cooperative. She was born in 1940 and died at, in 2013 at the age of 80 years old. She was born in Melville Island. I think it shows that she had one child, Maria Josette, and I think it's Ors, Orsto. I found her work on Pinterest and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I really liked it and I thought it merited a double spread. I never do double spreads in my travelers. I just stick to one little small page because of course my attention span is not long enough to do two, but this really did keep my attention. I did it in 40 minutes, which is not bad considering there's a lot of coloring in and stuff. I did four times the speed on the video because who wants to spend 40 minutes watching me color in spots, right? So I did speed it up and there is no sound other than my voice and that's, that's all there is. Um, <clears throat> the name of this piece, according to what I found on Pinterest and at an Aboriginal art gallery online that I will link to it, it's called Tap, tapalinga, which is the, I guess, Aboriginal word for the word stars. And I'm thinking that the middle portion is the moon and all the little things around it signify the stars up in the sky. All the little wedge and pie pieces to it signify uh, stars up in the sky. I used Posca pens. And I used just the basic set of Posca pens. I didn't get any fancy colors or anything. There's just the basic set. And went around and did the pie shapes around the middle piece, which is the moon. And just filled it in. When I looked at her piece, um, it was really simple. There were hash marks. There were uh, little hyphens. There were crossworks slanted lines, dots, dashes, and then coloring in solid colors. That was all there was to it. There was no sleight of hand, no fancy schmancy stuff with this. You didn't really have to shade anything. You didn't have to consider where the light was from or anything like that. This was basic straight, uh, basic doodling, if you want uh, to put it in an odd way. This is just a very basic thing. But Aboriginal art usually is this kind of art. It is very basic um, techniques and it, it goes rather quickly. Um, so I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the video and say thank you for watching Art Joy Sharing's Tribal Hop. If you'd like to join the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group, I will leave a link in the description box down below and you can come check us out. Every month there's a different kind of suggestive challenge and then every three months, I think it's either two or three months, we do a hop of some sort. Um, it's a lovely group and they're very supportive people and I really do enjoy being a part of the group. So please enjoy the rest of the video and follow along with the other artists as you can click on their names down below and go from place to place. We appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.